update here. Um, I just noticed a couple of things and uh, we made a couple of changes in Trackify and I just wanted to let you know about them uh, just in case uh, you have something going on over the weekend and um, you, uh, so a couple of things, let me actually share my screen here. All right. Okay, so check this out. This is our new um, uh, interface in Trackify where uh, we have actually removed the um, force login to Facebook. So you can now go around here. You see, I'm actually not logged into Facebook. I'm not logged in. There's my, my profile pro picture is not up here. And I can log, I can walk around um, the different pages here. Some pages have some content accessible and um, uh, others where it just doesn't make any sense to be there without being logged in. They just have the login button here, right? But so for example, to the settings page, you can go and you can ac access certain features uh, and kind of look around uh, without being logged in. But in general, you want to be logged in because you want to be able to manage your Facebook assets in Trackify. So with, for example, the audience list or the uh, custom audience builder, the bulk lookalike audience builder, all these things, you obviously have to be logged in in order to uh, access them. And when you log in, you use your profile to log in. Actually, I, can, I have to hide this here for a moment, just so we're not revealing too many secrets over here that are private and personal. All right, now I can show it again. All right, there you go. So once you're logged in, you know, you can see your pixel stats, for example, in the pixel engine page, uh, you can access the catalog manager, the audience manager, uh, the analytics, everything is accessible. The dashboard fills up with, uh, with data here and with stats that you can see and so forth. So everything is accessible and normal when you're logged in. And so in order to manage your Facebook assets through Trackify, you really want to be logged in uh, to Facebook. Now, uh, so that's that, but again, you're not forced to log in and you can look around the app and kind of get familiar when you first come into Trackify uh, without actually logging in. Uh, now, another issue that uh, we have noticed is that Shopify has made a fairly big change in the way that they are um, letting you set up the basic Facebook Pixel integration. So if you go over to, um, let's see, this is so chaotic here. All right, here we go. So if you go over to your uh, online store preferences and you scroll down here where the field used to be, where you just simply paste in your Facebook Pixel ID, there is now uh, a button, just simply a button that says set up Facebook. And what that does is it walks you through a, uh, an integration step where it basically sets up an app for you. Um, they call that the Facebook app and it's made by Shopify. And once it's all configured and set up, it shows up here under the sales channels. So now we're going to click on here and I'm going to show you how to remove the Facebook uh, pixel from getting uh, fired in your Shopify store uh, if you want to keep that Facebook sales channel uh, active, all right? So they have basically put all kinds of uh, apps uh, into one uh, in, on the Shopify side here. You see this is an app by Shopify. And um, there used to be an app that was called Facebook Marketing. So that app is now also integrated into this one. I'm not quite sure about the Kit app. Um, I, I'm under the impression that even maybe the Kit app may be integrated into this thing here now. And um, the sales channels here for Facebook and for Instagram are seems like they're both integrated into, into this app. 
So you may or may not want to use it and do things with it. Um, one thing that you need to fix here if you want to use Trackify uh, and the Facebook this Facebook app is you need to uh, remove the Facebook pixel tracking and that automatically disables the whole basic Facebook pixel integration in Shopify. So this basically does the same thing as deleting the Facebook pixel ID from that field that used to be in the online store uh, preferences that I just showed you. So how do you remove pixel tracking without removing and uninstalling the entire Facebook app from uh, from the app from the apps page? So that's something you can do as well, right? I haven't really heard anything good about uh, this Facebook app or about the kind of uh, prior app that they used to have, which which was called Facebook Marketing app. Uh, honestly, I haven't heard any anyone who has used this with success and uh, and loves it. And it's all, I mean, even in the, this Facebook app, in this iteration of it, it seems all pretty restricted to me. And, uh, you know, you can only use one ad account and one page. And and so I, I don't really know. I haven't used it. I don't want to talk, you know, too badly about it. I just want to, you know, uh, show you how to simply remove the Facebook pixel from here. So you can just use Trackify app uh, the Trackify app integration for the Facebook Pixel, and uh, you know, run your ads yourself in your Facebook ad accounts. Everything will work normally. Okay, so if you want to keep this app and uh, also use Trackify, then you go into Settings here. In Settings, then you click on Marketing Settings, and here's this section right here where it says Pixel Tracking. And if you have this set up prior to uh, using Trackify, then you will see a pixel in here that you've uh, connected. And then you simply uh, click disconnect and that removes the Shopify pixel, uh, the, the pixel, this pixel from your Shopify store. So I'm going to click disconnect. You're going to see a whole bunch of other ad accounts when I do that. So I'm just going to hide this for a moment. Oh, wait, let me, let me not hide it just yet. All right. So there's this, uh, this scary looking, um, uh, confirmation box here that says by disconnecting your pixel tracking any active Facebook marketing campaigns will stop working and you won't be able to create new ads well that sounds really scary but it is entirely limited to this feature here which is as I just showed you before Facebook marketing that is an app that is integrated into this app and it lets you create Facebook ads through this feature through this Facebook marketing app so but and and it is true the statement here is true that if you if you remove this pixel you can't create any ads with this Facebook marketing uh, app feature uh, of this app but it has nothing to do at all with any ads that you're running in your ad accounts and any of your ad accounts that you've set up manually or yourself or through any other means other than by using this Facebook marketing app Okay, so don't be scared by that. This is just kind of a weird, uh, a weird way to, you know, reinforce that Facebook. I mean, I mean, Shopify wants you to integrate the Facebook Pixel this way and just kind of stay uh, simple and weird and basic, right? So, but we are going to be advanced, and that's why we're using Trackify. And here we go. So now. Now that we removed the pixel, we can actually come over here. Let me change this screen and then I can share this again. I just wanted to walk you through this real quick here because now you can just simply go into the storefront here and then see that uh, now we only have the Trackify pixel here installed and active. But actually I'm in the wrong shop, right? Yeah, okay, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through this right now. Uh, there's training stuff for this anyway in um, in Trackify. Uh, so that's that's all there is. Oh, there are actually some questions here. First by Motors. Let's see here. Hey, quick question. Could I use Trackify to have two pixels connected to my Shopify store? Yes, absolutely. Two and more. Um, you can have uh, unlimited pixels uh, connected with Trackify. Uh, Trackify, that's one of the big features of Trackify is to have multiple Facebook pixels set up. You can have multiple master pixels 
That means they collect all the same information um, and that means you can use them as backup in case you should lose access to a Facebook ad account and a Facebook pixel, then you still have all the data collected on another pixel and you can continue to use that there, right? And you can also set up um, additional pixels and uh, target them for specific products so they don't fire for all products, but only for some products or you know a, a group of products. So yeah, that's a, that's a solid yes. And here's another question by First by Motors. Will the pixels still have good quality data, not interrupting each other? Um, not sure what exactly you mean. So exactly uh, what I said before, multiple master pixels just simply collect the same data. Uh, in an ad account, you can only track one pixel in, an, in each ad set. So there's no interference there, right? It doesn't matter what the other pixels collect or what other pixels fire. Uh, the, ad, the ad sets in an ad account always just look at one pixel. Now, there is some confusion that you can create if you do things like uh, set up ad sets within the same ad account with different pixels. That is potentially uh, going to be a little bit... Um, confusing, to say the least, because Facebook cannot deduplicate uh, conversions between different pixels that fire for the same conversions, right? So assuming that you have, let's say, two, two master pixels, and you track one ad set with one master pixel and the other ad set with another master pixel, and they both fire for all transactions, right? So that means both master pixels fire for all purchases, right? So now let's say a user clicks on an ad that is tracked with pixel A, and then later clicks on another ad that's tracked with pixel B, and then makes a purchase. That purchase will be attributed to both of these ads because Facebook can't, dis can't distinguish, can't recognize that uh, both pixels are actually firing the same transaction and that that's the same thing. All right, well, let's see. We have some more conversation going here with First by Motors. Great, so I want to basically promote two products on my store. I want two different pixels for this. Yes, that is possible. Um, what you want to do with this, let me just show you this here on the thing. What you want to do for that is you want to set them up as tag pixels. So in the business plan, that's kind of our basic plan. We have also light plan, but that has kind of a different purpose. So in your case, you would want to uh, be in the business plan. This here is the higher, higher uh, level plan that's marketer. In the business plan, you have three pixels, okay? So you can set up one pixel as a master pixel that fires for all products, and we strongly recommend that you do that. And then you can set up more pixels here, and you can set them up as tag pixels, for example, niche tag pixels, right? And then let's say here, you set up a pixel that is called beer, right? For for beer, let's just say that one. And then you simply just uh, tag the, uh, the product that you want to track with this pixel, uh, with this tag. And that means this pixel will then only fire for that product, for the tag product, right? And then you set up another tag pixel for the other product. And there you go. So that way you have each of these pixels fire only for the product that they're tagged with. And uh, there are actually detailed instructions in this video right here. Um, so in Trackify, we have tons of instruction videos that help you through everything. And every screen in Trackify basically has a contextual video here that you can access by clicking on this uh, Tudor head icon. All right, I hope that explains this. Yeah, okay, you can do this also with two different ad accounts, uh, except it doesn't make a difference, right? With two different ad accounts, basically it's, um, you have the same kind of issue. When you have two different ad accounts, Facebook also can't deduplicate uh, the same conversion between different ad accounts. And it actually doesn't matter in that case if you're using two pixels or the same pixel that is shared between the ad accounts. Um, in, in, in any case, if these two ad sets that I mentioned before, if they run 
one in one ad account and one in the other ad account, um, they and the buyer has clicked on on both of these ads, they will also show up in in both of them. Yeah, why would you need an, a master pixel? A master pixel is just good to have to kind of have a solid base baseline and have everything tracked and make sure that everything is is up and running. Um, the the tag pixels have certain gaps where they don't fire. So for example, uh, if you just set up a tag pixel, you don't have any events on non-product specific pages, right? So that means in a collection, let's say, or on a collection page or on your home page or you know anywhere else where it's where not the tag product is not uh, involved you wouldn't have any any pixel events at all and so that's just a kind of um you know okay if you only want to have your product uh, tr tracked here with that tag pixel you can do that without a master pixel but we just recommend that you set up a master pixel um, and it makes it easier to kind of understand why a tag pixel didn't fire where you might have expected it. Okay, well, that might be true. You might not be explaining it properly. I might not be explaining it properly either, but um, that's okay. So uh, we can help you out if you have any specific questions in the uh, in-app chat. So just, you know, install Trackify. Uh, set it up, follow the installation instructions here in the welcome screen. I actually just uh, record a brand new video for that uh, right here um, so that you know you can all uh, get the hang of this new way of logging into Facebook now and um, also the way that the Facebook pixel needs to be removed from Shopify. It's also explained in this new installation instruction video here in the welcome page. All right, so there you go. And um, I just wanted to keep this uh, pretty short. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's what I meant. So just uh, hit us up in the in-app chat and um, then you can go ahead and uh, we can help you out with any specific questions there. Cool, so there you go. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Uh, I hope this helps you out uh, understanding the issue with the Facebook pixel in Shopify better and, uh, you know, have your work around there. Um, and um, I'll see you again to the next Facebook Live at noon on Monday, noon uh, central time, uh, when we get into the next episode of talking more about the server side pixel events. We have currently a pilot project running with our third iteration of the implement implementing the server side pixel events it's awesome it works really really well and very robust and we're really proud of it so we'll we'll see you on monday at noon central um that is 1 p.m eastern and 10 a.m pacific all right uh, until then i'll see you and have a great weekend this is thomas bartke signing off <laughs>